All right, guys, so we're on the New Canoe Unlimited, finally. Wow. I am not believing that this is actually happening right now. This is absolutely crazy. Look at the deck space. Look at the tracks. Um, man, this is, this is unreal. Now, wind's kind of pushing me a little bit. I am paddling with a 250 cm paddle. It is a bending branches paddle, very light. However, it is a little bit short for this boat. Not gonna lie, it's short for the boat. That's okay, we'll be getting a newer uh, paddle soon and then at some point, paddles really aren't going to be uh, something that we're gonna be using mostly unless we're in the tournament fishing or tournament event that does not allow a um, motor. Otherwise, we're gonna have a motor on here probably for most of our fishing adventures. Um, it's easy. It's easy to paddle with the 260. Now I'm not really going that fast. I'm just not. I'm not trying to go fast, honestly. I'm just out here really just testing, testing this bad boy. Just trying, try, trying to get a feel for it. Once I get up over here a little bit, what I'll do is uh, I'll show you how easy it is to stand up in this kayak. fish out of it's it's crazy the stability of this boat it is amazing 41 inches wide this boat I've got plenty plenty of room in here I'm sitting up super high not gonna be uncomfortable whatsoever uh, this thing's this thing's a beast it's not a tank either you would think that a boat this big would be a tank to paddle, but here's the reality. This boat's only 84 pounds. With me and my gear in it, you know, uh, we do increase the weight quite a bit. However, not not that much. You know, well, yeah, more than, more than that. But this boat has a weight capacity of 650 pounds. I could literally put my one of my kids up here on a little bench seat or something and let them sit right up there and scoot my chair back just a hair and us be able to fish no problem whatsoever um seat already is super comfortable now like i said i've not been out here but a few minutes but the seat is super comfortable and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to paddle up there you can see where that tree's kind of hanging out I'm going to paddle up to that and then just work my way back down. The wind is blowing right in my face uh, right here. And so it's pushing probably bait or whatever this direction. So I'm going to go up here and get near that uh, tree that's kind of hanging over there in the water. You see that branch up there straight ahead. I'm going to get up that. I'm going to probably just uh, pitch a jig for a little bit and see if we can't get bit on that. I'm going to pair that up with a Guggen. Probably either a crack and crawl or rattling chunk. Um, water here is pretty pretty green. I wouldn't call it I wouldn't call it clear, and I wouldn't call it uh, murky. Um, this lake, I, I don't understand why this lake is so green, unless there's just a lot of grass or something out here on the bottom of it. I'm not gonna be out here super long, so if I don't catch a fish tonight, I'm not gonna be upset. That's not really what this is about. This is more or less me getting out here, checking out the stability of this kayak. Like I said, this is my very first time on the water on, but I'll tell you what, on other kayaks that I have been on, um, I was always conscious of the stability of it because they were, I wouldn't call them tippy, uh, especially the old towns that I've had. But uh, you know, they were definitely not as stable as this. This is the most stable boat I've ever been on. Uh, my second favorite boat was probably the Bonafide SS 127. However, it paddled worse than this thing does. And I'm like I said, I'm using a 250 cm paddle, and. 
I feel like I'd be just fine, you know, paddling if I needed to. Um, but I want a bigger paddle, obviously. I don't want to go with just a two, a 250cm paddle, especially when I'm setting up as high as I am. So, you know, like I said, I'm going to go up here just on the other side of that branch there, that's there, that tree, whatever that's hanging over, right up there where those rocks are. Start pitching my jig, and I'm going to work my way back down this bank. We've caught some big fish here off this section. This is Steel Creek Park. Me and Adam both got some 20s and 19s out of here. They're in here. Um, Adam's caught probably a four or five pound smallmouth out of here. So, uh, again, just pitching the jig. So I put rod socks on my rod so I wouldn't get stuff tangled up and I'm not gonna take rod socks off unless I'm actually throwing that rod. And then I'm gonna put rod socks back on uh, that rod when I'm done, just so I can manage myself a little bit better there I feel like in this boat you know I could stand up if I needed to take a rod rod sock off and then go from there so I probably I may go up here yeah, I think I'll go on up just a hair to a spot that I like to uh, pitch off of or flip flip on and then we'll uh, we'll just work our way back like I said I'm not gonna be here too awful long I'm not going to the back of this place up here it's not that far but just because Adam doesn't have his pedals um, just to respect him you know but I just wanted to kind of get a feel for paddling this thing answer the question is it a barge no it's not a barge is it 41 inches wide and um, easy to paddle super easy to paddle and that's with 250 cm paddle now i think i could get more speed out of this i'm going i was going about 2.6 miles per hour or whatever um with this paddle let's see let's just get on it here for a second now this is the 360 seat yeah i've got two 2.5 2.5 right there, 2.7. So, and that's, you know, that's working a little bit. But like I said, this is a 250 cm paddle. This is not a 270, which is what is needed for this kind. At least a 260 minimum is needed for this kind. So, will I be getting another uh, paddle? Yes. Um, but like I said, is it that bad to paddle? as it is right now no it's fine i mean if i had to live with this paddle for two or three months i'd be all right to get out here and fish i wouldn't sweat it i mean it's uh it's doing pretty good so like i said i'm gonna go up here with this tree this down try to fish off of that and i'm probably giving some people that come up here and fish this kind of showing you some stuff um that's kind of stuff I'm looking for. I'm going to throw a jig off of that. You know, maybe not right up in that. I don't want to get hung up and stuff, but that's what I'm looking for. Looking for them lay downs like that. Trees in the water. I can throw a jig on. Uh, even like over here. You know, if you can pitch a jig up underneath that stuff, you'll be in good shape. So, this boat is crazy, crazy stable. Like I said, I'm not even thinking about flipping i mean look at this this thing is i mean it's it's a beast it's 360 seat i'm a big old dude and i just put a leg over and the boat's just hugging right there in the water um there's some water down there but as i paddle guess what the way this boat's made it just drains right out so there's no issues with that whatsoever so i'm gonna get up here get myself turned around and once I get turned around I'm gonna fish around this tree that's down right here we got some thunder in the background so again we're gonna be uh, cognizant of that aware of that and uh, not go back too far that way we definitely don't want no lightning and crap pouncing our heads so uh, we're gonna kind of just 
like I said, turn around right here. And uh, we're going to get, yeah, it's raining like crazy back there. Hopefully that's not coming this way. I don't think it is. I think it's going that direction. And we'll be good. So let's just get up here and let's find our rod that we need. We're not going to throw this. This is my new Runcel Rushmore. Eric Burkhart from Cast to Catch recommended this. And so did uh, my good buddy Josh Sharp over at Bass and Beer. So great reel. I don't have, I've got a Ned rig set up for that one. But I'm not going to probably throw that right now. Um, probably not going to throw this rod either. I just really brought some of these rods just to see. Now, I do have a paddle park right here. I can put my paddle right there. I'm good to go. Uh, this is my trench hog. And let's see, where's my jiggy? I think my jiggy. Nope. Did I not bring my jig rod? I didn't bring my jig rod. Nope, I didn't bring my jig rod. Well, fiddle parts, we'll throw the trench hog. Um... Let's just stand up here, show you that. Pretty, pretty simple. So we'll just grab that right there. Again, that comes off pretty, pretty easy. Um, yeah, I don't like that sound. For sure. But we're just going to throw that. I wonder, I should have got that a little closer to the bank there. That would have been better. So let me paddle myself over there just a hair. And then uh, we'll make the right cast that we need. And what I'll probably do is just pull that paddle right out like that. I can stand up here and paddle this paddle like this right here. Yeah, see, no problem whatsoever. I can just reach down here. I don't feel at all like I'm going to fall out of this boat. I mean, it's solid. And when you can fish comfortably from your vessel, then, you know, you can, uh, you, you can do a lot. I mean, I can even, holy cow, I have never in my life stood sideways on a flipping kayak and fished never in my life and like i said i don't I, oh i don't feel at all like the world's gonna come to an end and i'm gonna fall in if i did fall in i'm in 16 foot of water right here right here where i'm at you know probably more on this side of the boat but Guys, this is ridiculously crazy and stable. I have never in my life stood sideways on a kayak. And I'm just going to let the wind kind of push me. And we're just going to work this bank here with this trench hog. It's a uh, great bait for me, especially up here. Catch a lot of fish off the trench hog from Guggen. I'm not sponsored by Guggen, by no means, but it is a solid bait. And normally I would like to, like I said, I'd like to be pitching a jig right here, uh, down down through this bank right here. Absolutely would love to be pitching my pitching a jig. Does really well. Um, I can turn around here, you know, as I'm turning, and. Uh, Put that bait right there where I want to. I don't like the sound of thunder. That's why I'm glad I'm back here and not way up in there and kind of get caught, you know, in a storm for sure. But yeah, this boat here is ridiculously stable. And, I, and I'm just going to be honest with you all. I weigh 300 pounds. I've lost 25 pounds. But I, I still weigh 300. I was 325, and I'm at 300, and I've been um, juicing to get my weight off and stuff like that, and I've been eating, you know, small meals. Um, sometimes with the juice, I haven't just, I did straight juicing for a little bit, and then I thought, well, let me try it and see what would happen if I added some food 
uh, back to my diet? Would that slow my progress down? And I think that it has, so I'm gonna go back to juice only for probably six, eight weeks, and then slowly introduce foods in. And probably what'll, what I'll do when I introduce those foods back, oh, there was a bite. Uh, when I introduce those foods, yep, I missed him. He just pecked at it again. But uh, when I when I introduce foods back, then um, I'm probably just going to put fruits and vegetables on my plate for a while and, and not have any kind of meats and stuff. So I'm just going to pick the paddle back up here real quick, easy to squat down. I want to get back over to that bank. Like I said, we do have some wind uh, pushing us a little bit. There is no rudder on this boat. Um, some might say that's good, bad, and different, ugly. I don't know. I'll just leave the paddle right there. It's fine. But uh, to me, it doesn't bother me. Oops, I didn't want to get that direction. So, yeah, there we go. We'll pitch that like that. See if we can't pull something out. Easy to set back down, you know. You get in a spot you're too close to the bank you can just back yourself off of it set back down and fish this thing's a blessing right here from god oh <laughs> had one pick it up right there yeah this was a, this boat's a blessing from above that said please keep the rain off me lord but um you know, if you don't, whatever. So let's just kind of turn ourselves this direction a little bit. Let's cast right there. Up in that mess. Let's see if we can't find us something here to get on. Love to get a green fish. And again, these fish, they move around a lot up here. This is a highly pressured lake. People come in here and hammer. Oh, there's one. Oh, that gummit. Let's put that bait right back down there. Let's see if that fish follows. I wasn't paying attention. I was just talking away. But uh, that fish come right after that, man. Let's put that bait right back there and uh, see if we can't pull that across his pathway again yeah, I'm just sitting sideways here that way the wind will push me out Oop, we missed him again must be a tiny dink but um, anyway that's that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna let the nope we got hung up so typically when you get hung up and you're on a kayak, the easiest strategy there is to just paddle up above it and just be cognizant of the fact that there could be fish laid up along in here. So you want to paddle gently. You know, you don't want to scare off your fish. Generally, if we can get, yeah, there we go. So we got up above it. And, ooh. Let's fix that. Yeah, we definitely need to fix that. Ouch. Sharp hook. Sharp hooks are key, guys. Yeah, that, that bait there, <laughs> that Guggen bait's been hammered by something. And uh, we missed it. Let's see here. Let's get that line fixed real quick. Yeah, so that's my my little bit of a tip um, on that. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to paddle myself around. I'm trying to be cognizant of this weather too to make sure this crap is not coming my direction and. It very well may be.
coming right at me. Yeah, oh, that doesn't look, that doesn't look the greatest. That is coming at me. So, uh, let's make another cast here. And I don't like the way that looks. So, we're probably going to head back to the boat ramp. I haven't seen any kind of ground uh, or, you know, any kind of lightning or whatever. Let's see what that is. Maybe that's not going to hit us. Again, I just want to be... You want to always be aware of your surroundings, especially when you're on a boat and you're on the water. Yeah, folks, that's moving toward me, making that one cast right there. This is going to be the last cast. I'm paddling out of here. Safety first. Safety first. I don't care if people call you a wimp or say, oh, you're supposed to be a man, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're supposed to be a man, but you're also supposed to be aware of your surroundings, too. And you're also supposed to have a good head on your shoulders. And it's not having a good head on your shoulders if you just say, oh, I'm going to tough it out, you know, because I'm a big boy. And uh, I don't need to pay attention to the rules. You know, that's a bunch of malarkey, uh, if you want to think like that. I don't care what you, if you call yourself a man or not. You ain't much of a man if you try to act like you're, you're going to whip Mother Nature. Because I'm here to tell you, Mother Nature will whip you real quick. I'm getting bit right here. I'd love to get one fish on a new boat, Christmas boat. And uh, God just give me one fish. That's all I ask here. One fish. And I'm getting out of here. We just missed one. Of course, I don't know if God cares about me catching a fish or not, but he might. Okay. Yep. We're out. God's like, no, not today, son. You got out there. You got to test your kayak. But it's time for you to go. So we're going to make us a lovely little cast this direction here. <laughs> we're kidding we're going to get the pits out of here I said pits not pits I'm getting hits that they're short strikes so I think my bait honestly may be a tad big now let me uh let me kind of move this direction here. Like I said, I'm going to just be so cognizant of, cognizant, um, of my surroundings. It's a good place to put a bait right there. Let's just see if that holds true. And uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to end up just getting going ahead and getting up out of here because. I am not about to get out here in a mess. But uh, what's my opinion of the new canoe front or new canoe frontier? Well, my opinion of the new canoe frontier is that it is a barge. It is definitely a barge. This is not a barge. This boat's designed very well. Now the new canoe uh, frontier is a great kayak too. Don't let me don't let me kid you. It's a great kayak. Anything from New Canoe is good. It might be my opinion, but uh, anything from New Canoe is a great boat. This is definitely. Oh, pooty pooped. That's what I get for making a, another cast after saying I was getting out of here. Yeah, I don't like that dark business right there. All right, so we're getting out. I'll probably throw another cast or two, but God watch over me is all I can say. So let's get up here. I'm not too worried about scaring fish at this point. My main concern right now is 
coming up here getting this bait off and pushing myself off this bank like so and I'm trying to really be aware of my situation big old hump right there in the water yeah so let's uh Yeah, let's get over this way. We don't need to get caught out in no stormy. No lightning. But yeah, this boat's amazing. With the wind in my back, I'm barely paddling and I'm really moving. gonna let the wind get beneath our wings here just throw that right there off the bank a little sometimes he's yep right there must have scared him I really don't like to catch a fish behind me but like that yeah, we're gonna pull that up Bad cast, see it happens. Yeah, you don't want to play it with Mother Nature. She'll get brutal fast. Look at that mess. Oh, it got off. Mercy. Yeah, I don't like this, so I'm out. I'm out. I gotta go. Listen to your gut. So my gut's telling me to get out of here. I'm gonna listen to it. Alright, so let's go. May the wind ever be to our backs. And never in our faces so first impression love it best decision ever made I like sales gonna buy a Hobie Hobie's 38 inches wide uh, Hobie's got a lot of deck space but this has more there's no question about that storage you can add optional storage up the front if you need to you want to but uh, you know that's totally optional for you if you want it i don't know I'm, I'm not really a big storage guy i'd rather have like a small cooler up there to be honest with you uh would be my ideal and so that'd be, that'd be my ideal have a small cooler up there use that and then uh leave the rest of that deck space open here i got a big cooler behind me with all my baits and stuff in it that i use i got a small tackle box that i now use uh, i've got bags of soft plastics right here so i got everything that i need let's uh one more attempt at this i'm gonna throw down the edge of this bank right here like that and yeah, let's just see i really don't want to get over here on the bank Yep, there we go. Oh my gosh. I'm not kidding you folks. Let's throw off a little. Seems to be like how they're biting it. There's a bite. As y'all can tell, I'm not one to quit. I don't like to give up. Don't like to give up at all, but I will. I'm gonna be a smart guy, because that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, the wind's picking up, as you can see. I'm starting to get some little bit of waves. 
like I said, Adam forgot his pedals. It was probably a blessing that he forgot his pedals because we would have probably been um, way back in the back and then if some rain or something came down on us, we would be stuck in it. Maybe lightning could have got up on us as well. So I am gonna throw off this uh, ca cast up here. After that cast, I'm gonna dart straight across the water there and then we're gonna get up out of here. I am starting to feel some sprinkles. So again, like I said, I'm not one to give up and quit. But at the same time, I do have some common sense about me. Let's see if we can't pull us one. That's the goal, pull us a fish out. I couldn't set a hook today to save my life. Sometimes the Lord just looks out for you, don't he? He knows it. Hey, if he, he gets into this, he's going to forget about what he's doing. Of course, some of you might say, Lord ain't got nothing to do with it at all. You know, even whatever. We can argue about all that. Oh, you want to. Oh, there's a turtle, friend. There's our little turtle friend. Yeah. They put some what? Rules? Oh, okay. All right. There's one. Now we Chris, we've christened the new boat. Oh, it's a stick. <laughs> uh, ain't y'all, don't y'all love that? You're like, yep, there he is. It ain't nothing but a stick. So what Adam was talking about is our, our kayak club that we fish out of. They've put some rules out or poles out in the group about our classic that's coming up. So again, I just want to show y'all Simple to stand up in. Easy. I may let Adam get out on it just for a second. You could stand on it. Oh my, he can't even catch. He's got a uh, broke hand there. Look at that. We got another stick. Let's drag him over here. There we go. I like it better over here because I'm not so concerned. I think that weather is going in a different direction. Put that bait right there. Hey Adam, you ever seen anybody stand sideways in one? There we go. Yep, another log, man. I have caught like six logs today. Oh, I'm always catching 10 pound logs. Well, I just missed one right there. Uh-oh. Hung up in that net this time. There we go. I've never seen anybody stand sideways in a kayak and just, and I mean, walk around. Never.
except Christine Fisher. Now that woman get up in there and walk on them. Of course, she's a little pencil too, you know. She's not like me. So for me, a guy my size and stature to be able to do this is absolutely, this is crazy. For me to be able to, I mean, I can just turn right around here. I feel like that was a log. Given the fact I've caught 17 logs. Hey, yeah. You look like a big eyed Oh, I, I, tell me about it. Adam said I look like a highlighter with his shirt on. I don't doubt it. Like I said, I have never. Uh, stood up sideways on a dadgum kayak or been able to turn around on a kayak like this. Let's see if I can stand on one leg. Yep. Need no boat. Just need you a good kayak. Winds picking up. Crazy. I don't like. It. I'm getting out of here. So. Easy peasy. Let's put the rod sleeve back on. No doubt. Four to six. All right, let's uh, set our booty down. Let's paddle. Like Adam said, the wind's like four miles an hour in my face. Maybe more than that. Go ahead and just bend down here, grab our transducer, bring it up, go ahead and cut the garment off, and then we're going to uh, paddle back over here to Adam and get out of this boat. going to go get your vehicle you gonna go get your vehicle cuz I feel like we got a storm coming huh Adam this is the best kayak ever Of course I would get up here on this dock, but I mean I can pad a trolling motor right here. Oh yeah, yeah you're not. Oh dude, it... yeah this is this bona fide is nothing. I, I don't even think about bona fide. I would uh, for the money. 
you could buy this kayak and a pedal drive and still be cheaper than that new Bonafide. 1700 bucks for this boat and then like a thousand for the pedal drive system you're twenty seven hundred dollars bonafide is going to be like three thousand yep be like twenty four hundred bucks for the pedal drive for this super easy to get up out of oh dude my deck space is So we just get her turned around. Guys, this, this I'm gonna take the GoPro off my head here. To grab this. This this is really slick right here, by the way. Golly, this is a 41 minute video. Ain't nobody gonna watch a 41 minute video. This thing is phenomenal, guys. Absolutely, it's amazing. You if you're gonna spend the money, this kayak was seventeen hundred dollars. Um you cannot go wrong. This is the best, in my opinion, kayak that's out there that I've ever been in. I've, I've been in a Hobie before. Everybody's like, oh, you need to get a Hobie. I tried a Hobie. I didn't buy a Hobie, but I got in one, and I did not like it. I didn't like those flutter kicks. I didn't like flutter kicking all freaking day. But you can see, with this setup right here, it's going to change the game for me. I can fish. Yeah. Yeah. All right, hold on. So, I got to get Adam's stuff. So, what I'm going to do is pull Mr. Nuki Nui up right there. Oh, yeah, this thing's great. So, hold on, I'm coming. So, guys, y'all stay safe, stay strong. Thank y'all. Uh, remember, always be a champion. Don't ever forget that. We're gonna get off here, close the video. It's a long video today for us. And all we've been doing is just talking about the boat. So there it is one more time. The new canoe front, or excuse me, the new canoe unlimited, ready to go. All we gotta do is get our bow mount and trolling motor, or we want the pedal drive, we can put that in there as well. Whatever we wanna do, we can do it with this guy. It is a beast. Y'all, we will see you on the next video. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.